Hi, I'm Dan Rosenberger, Manufacturer's Rep with Echo Incorporated. And in today's video series, we're going to talk about how to select your gas powered chainsaw. And in today's video series, we're going to be talking about chainsaw characteristics. What size bar and chain you're going to be picking for your chainsaw? What size engines that you're going to have? And then what configuration? And next we're going to be talking about how to choose the right saw for your application. Do you need a small fast running saw for trimming, a medium sized saw for some light firewood, or a bigger CC saw with a much larger bar and chain for those bigger jobs. And next we're going to talk about how to pick the right chainsaw for your skill level. Are you an amateur that's just bought their first chainsaw that just has a little light trimming around the house? Do you need an intermediate saw for a medium skill level just to trim up around the house and cut a little bit of light firewood? Or are you a professional that works day in and day out and makes a living with your chainsaw? And then we'll discuss what size bar length you're going to want to buy with your chainsaw. Do you need a small chainsaw with a small bar and chain? Or you do you need a much larger chainsaw, larger CC, larger cubic inch, that will accept a much more aggressive bar and chain and much larger in length. And other features you need to consider when purchasing your gas chainsaw may be bumper spikes. To dig the chainsaw in during bucking or felling a tree. A heavy duty air filter, rubber mounts, air filtration systems that actually spit out the dirt before it makes its way to the filter. But these are all things you may want to consider while purchasing your gas chainsaw. After you finish selecting which chainsaw you're going to buy, you've purchased your chainsaw, now it's time to sit down and thoroughly read your owner's manual and safety manual. Now let me tell you a little bit about Echo Incorporated. We've been in the lawn and garden business for more than 30 years, offering professional products to discerned homeowners all the way up to the professional landscapers. Now let's talk a little bit about how to select the right chainsaw for your application. Hi, I'm Dan with Echo Incorporated. In this video series, we're going to talk about how to select a gas chainsaw. So now let's talk about some of the saw characteristics that you want to know before you make your selection. First, you want to decide what size saw you need to buy. Here we have a 30cc saw, a 40cc saw, and a 60cc saw. You can actually get chainsaws all the way up more than 100cc. So there's a very large range in engine size. Next, you want to take a look at bar and chain length. This is a smaller cc saw with a smaller bar and chain. This particular has a 14 inch bar. Then you move to the mid size saw. It has a 16 or 18 inch, all the way up to the professional model that you could get up to a 27 inch bar and chain. Next thing we want to look at is handle configuration. You notice this handle is a top handle, most of the time used by professional arborists or for smaller jobs on the ground. Next we move to a rear handle saw, which is a little bit better balanced and easy to use on the ground while you're limbing or bucking up. This particular saw is a rear handle saw, just much bigger in CC and bigger bar and chain. So next we're going to talk about how to pick the right saw for the right application. Hi, I'm Dan with Echo Incorporated. And today we're going to talk about some of the factors you'll need to think about while selecting your gas powered chainsaw. Are you doing some light trimming or some light firewood cutting that you need a light, agile, top mounted chainsaw? This particular model is a top handle with a small bar and chain, a little bit smaller in CC, but very lightweight and agile. We're going to use this for some light trimming and some light groundwork. You also see many professionals use this model as it has a D-ring to where they'll clip it to their belt while they're in the air climbing. This is a medium range saw, rear handle, 16 inch to 18 inch in bar and chain length. 
This saw is going to be used for some light groundwork and some light firewood use. It's a medium range saw, so you're not going to be doing a lot of felling or large bucking of trees, but it is very comfortable and has enough power to do some light firewood cutting. This is your professional model. This is much bigger in cubic inch and CC. It's going to offer you all the power that you need to fell your trees and buck them into lengths for firewood. This is going to be used by the professional that's making a living with this chainsaw or by the farmer or rancher that's heating their house primarily with wood. So these are all the things you need to consider while picking the right chainsaw for the right application. And next we're going to talk about how to match up the right saw to the right skill level. Hi, I'm Dan with Echo Incorporated. And today we're going to talk about how to pick the right chainsaw for the right skill level. Are you an amateur that only cuts a little bit of firewood? We recommend a 30 to 40 cc chainsaw with a 14 to 16 inch bar and chain. Are you an intermediate that does a little bit of firewood cutting or cleaning up around the house on the ground? We recommend between a 40 and 60 cc with a 16 to 20 inch bar and chain. Or are you a professional that uses this for work or heats their house primarily with wood? Then we recommend anything from a 60 and above with a 16 all the way up to a 27 inch bar and chain. And another thing to consider is when picking the right chainsaw for the right application is fatigue. You wouldn't want to use this chainsaw to fell a tree that's 30 or 40 inches in diameter or buck the logs up into sections for firewood. It put a lot of distress on the chainsaw, but it also put a lot of distress on you. Same thing with a medium sized saw. This particular saw is 40 cc's. You wouldn't see a professional arborist climbing with this chainsaw. This is designed to do a little bit of groundwork and some light firewood. You wouldn't want to use this chainsaw in some light trimming applications. It is much heavier than the 30 cc's and it would put a lot of distress on your body while carrying it around in between jobs. So those are some of the things you need to consider while matching up the right chainsaw for the right skill level. So now let's talk about matching up the right bar and chain length for the right application. Hi, I'm Dan with Echo Incorporated. And we're here to talk about how to pick the right chainsaw for the right application. Next, we're going to talk about how to pick the right bar and chain length for your gas powered chainsaw. You want to pick a bar and chain combination that's one to two inches longer than what you're cutting. So if you're cutting a 14 inch piece of wood, you're going to want at least a 16 to 18 inch bar and chain. Now you also want to consider if you're going to cut that same 10 inch or 12 inch piece of wood 75 to 80 percent of the time you're going to want a 14 to 16 inch bar and chain. But before that you always want to consult your owner's manual to see what the recommended bar and chain combinations are. So if you need to replace your bar and chain make sure that you first consult your owner's manual to make sure that you have the right bar and chain combination. You also want to make sure that you purchase the right bar and chain for the right application. Both can be found in your owner's manual or the manufacturer's website. So up next, we're going to talk about additional features when selecting your gas chainsaw. Hi, I'm Dan with Echo Incorporated. And today we're going to talk about how to select your gas chainsaw. Today we're going to talk about some additional features that you need to look for when selecting your gas chainsaw. First thing is a large automotive style air filter. This allows plenty of air into the engine, which gives you great performance. As you can see, it's a large paper pleated filter with a large surface area, which allows a lot of clean air into your engine. 
This is going to give you great performance season after season. You want to look for a chainsaw that has a large intake area, which is going to allow a lot of that fresh air to help cool your engine. You're also going to want to look for a chainsaw with an easy start recoil that's going to take out about 30% of the energy used when starting your chainsaw. You also want to take a look at your chainsaw and make sure that it has a side chain tensioning system that's going to allow you to tighten your bar and chain very easily. As a rule of thumb, you want to have just enough tension to where you see the bottom of the chain at the top of the bar. Another feature you want to look for is an automatic oiler. On this chainsaw, it's an adjustable oiler. So you can change the amount of bar and chain oil that you're getting to your bar and chain depending on the application that you're using it for. As you can see here, this chainsaw designates the plus and minus, whether you want more or less bar and chain oil, and then the little insignia that, that indicates the bar and chain loop. And the final feature you need to consider while picking your gas chainsaw is an anti-vibration system that actually separates the handle from the power head by either rubber grommets or steel springs. This takes the vibration normally felt in your fingers and transports it into those rubber grommets or spring mounts. That's going to give you complete control over the chainsaw all the way through your project. In this model, you'll find it in multiple positions. On the top, on both sides of the chainsaw, underside the chainsaw up front on both sides, and then on the rear of the chainsaw on both sides. So you can see that the chainsaw engine is separated from the handle in multiple points. Definitely a feature that you need to look for while selecting your gas chainsaw. So with this information, you should be able to pick out your new gas-powered chainsaw with confidence.